Have you ever struggled to write an AI image prompt or describe an image's style? Midjourney has you covered with their describe command in Discord. In today's video, we'll explore this innovative tool and show you how it can revolutionize the way you make art. In April 2023, Midjourney introduced their game-changing tool, Describe. Instead of you describing what you want to see to the AI, you show the AI an image and it tells you what it sees. It's sort of a reverse prompt. It's an image to text. No more guesswork or struggling to come up with the perfect prompt. And the tool is so easy to use. In Discord, type slash describe into the message bar, then drag an image into the box or click to upload a file. Click return. Midjourney gives you four text prompts that describe the image. Choose the ones that best fit and click the buttons beneath the command to generate images based on the prompt. Before generating the images, Midjourney gives you a chance to edit the prompt. It's sort of like Remix. You can remove unnecessary or incorrect information or add details that the AI might have missed or that you'd like to include. By default, the prompt was including dash dash B5, but this may have changed. Check the version before generating the image. My test photo is one I took in the Colorado mountains. Midjourney has given me four suggested prompts and I'm gonna choose this one to run. I'm not so certain about the metropolis, but I'm gonna let it run anyway. And here's the best result. It's fine, there's no sign of a city. The colors are a little bit off and it didn't quite capture the composition, but it's not a bad stab at the subject matter. The describe tool isn't going to replicate the original image. The AI is still generating creative interpretations, mixing the prompt with a seed, but the new image can capture the essence of the original. The prompt gets you in the right ballpark. But why might you want this tool? Well, for one, it helps you pinpoint an image's art style and maybe points you to a relevant artist or two. And the tool helps you think like an AI. What do you need to prompt for to get the result? Or maybe you just need a creative nudge in the right direction. So how well does the tool work? I've been trying to get a piano to fly, but Midjourney kind of struggles with this concept. I found an image online that's sort of what I want. Let's see what Midjourney says a prompt should be for a flying piano. Well, there's some interesting ideas here. Robotic expressionism and surreal robotics. Those are two that I definitely will use in the future. Webcam photography and cloud core are also good choices. But what is monumentalism? And is it really iconic civil rights imagery? So the individual terms may be a little bit odd, but when I run the prompts, do I get flying pianos? Well, no. I get some pretty nice chrome plated pianos, but their feet are firmly on the ground. And I think sometimes Midjourney is just making up words. It's a simple flower, right? The AI sees mana punk, pigeon core, prairie core, cottage punk, and whatever pantone punk is. I scoff, but run the prompts and the images come out just fine. Maybe these punk core words add a bit of aesthetic spice. Let's try an image made with version three of Midjourney. The prompt doesn't really reflect the image. Let's see if Describe can fill in some details. Midjourney came up with a lot of artistic styles like Peter Morbacher and Luke Fields and Chinese fashion designer Guo Pei. I love the handy little links that take you out to image searches of the artist's work. I'm not sure the prompts are quite capturing the image, but I can see the inspiration. So maybe that's what Describe does best. It's a vibe creator. Let's see what happens when I add an image prompt to the suggested prompt. Ah, uh, that gives a much closer feel. But if you don't get prompts you like the first time, try running the describe tool again with the same image. You'll get different results. It would be great to have a reroll button right there to generate four more prompts. But I wonder about this response. Is Midjourney talking to me? And here's another editorial comment from the bot. I wonder what Midjourney is trying to say. But are these prompts universal? Does one AI talk to another? Let's see if Describe can capture some of that Midjourney magic sauce when I roll the prompts in Leonardo or Blue Willow. Midjourney does a good job of capturing the vibe, if not the detail. The Blue Willow results were more colorful illustrations, but this may be because Blue Willow doesn't seem to know or reproduce artists' styles as well as the other AI. 
But let's flip the script and take an image created in Leonardo AI. Can Midjourney replicate the style? The image is more Midjourney than Leonardo, but the prompt captures many of the features. Describe also works in both Midjourney and Niji Journey. Is there a difference? The Niji prompts are different, but not particularly anime, and the results aren't that dissimilar. But Niji 5 was just released, and that does make a big difference. Let's put the AI to a real test with a difficult image from the Amadeus movie poster. It's packed with graphic elements. Can the AI recognize the elements or even the image itself? Well, it didn't recognize the poster as such, though it did flag the image as an album cover. The AI is struggling with the shapes and the subject. At one point, the AI is seeing elephants. Overall, it missed on the styles, but I've still ended up with some awesome new styles to experiment with. There are a few quirks with this new tool that will probably resolve themselves. The prompt comes to you as a message from the Midjourney bot. This message disappears. If you generate an image based on suggested prompts, then you're fine. But if you wait too long, you'll have to run the describe tool again and get different results. Also, some users are reporting banned words showing up in prompts. Oops. Midjourney's Describe tool is a fun and easy way to create awesome AI-generated image prompts. There are a few bumps in the early testing, but the potential is huge. Describe is a powerful addition to your creative toolbox, letting you see into the mind of an AI and generate prompts with ease. Let us know how you're using the Describe tool in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.